Good morning, Jim. So I know it's been a while. Nobody tells you how hard medical school really is. They really don't. There's a huge learning curve and it's not just about the learning curve with the material. It's a learning curve about how to digest all of the material. As this is the last week that we're learning new material, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys my study routine for IHD and how my week is set up in medical school. There's a weekend, obviously. For me, the beginning of my week is Saturday. I start studying for Monday on Saturday. So that's what we'll be doing today. Let's go get some breakfast. I meal prep for the week. It saves you a lot of time. It'll take me like three or four hours. If you guys wanna see a vlog of that, let me know and I'll definitely do it. Yeah. I'll start while I'm eating my breakfast with some sketchy micro. Now I'm going to show you guys how I make my Anki cards for the week. Here I'm supposed to be describing the affinity maturation. I just created the table with like the definition, um, the location, the mechanism, and the results of affinity maturation in somatic hypermutation. Um, I kind of feel like somatic hypermutation is a part of affinity maturation, but I feel like I'm also not really oriented as to what is going on completely. So I'm just going to go and watch a handy dandy YouTube video on it and um, hopefully things can be made a little more clear. So in my three hour study block, I was able to, number one, put together everything I need all in one place. I completed an entire lecture, including the Anki cards, and then also I uh, studied the entire deck of Anki cards within those three hours. Yay me. April feels like she's done something, like she's been productive. After this three hour study block, I now have two hours to do whatever I choose as long as it's not study. Hey Jim, today is Sunday, aka my Tuesday. I've woken up bright and early today. 7.45 I woke up, very proud of myself, already on the grind. So yesterday I finished all of my immunology. Next priority is biochemistry, which is tomorrow, and it's a really dead two-hour lecture. I expect that I will probably only get through this lecture. Piggies. Now today, instead of going over sketchy i'm actually going to go through the deck i created so whatever is due today and then i'll go ahead and start on cell signaling on my break today i am going to watch church and then go to the grocery store pick up my groceries that i ordered from walmart hey, perfect the way i meal prep when i'm hungry obviously i start with breakfast lunch dinner so breakfast, I usually get something that's real quick because, you know, you got to be on the go. At lunch, which is now, I'm going to make tacos, but I'll make tacos for the entire week. And then at dinner, I'll be making pasta. I'm going to make pasta for the entire week. Got to feed my spirit, too. You know what I'm talking about? He makes me move higher. All I do is Lectures today from 8 to 12. I'm going to the one from 9 to 11. What up? Hey, your hair is different. Okay, look, I'm gonna go home like after this break, and I'm gonna get my hair braided. I don't wanna be like all the other girls and cut off all my hair. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that's what I would do. My lunch is so good. It is that so good. Really good. Like I'm hair? telling you, it's so good. And it took me like. 15 minutes to make um, yesterday. You need to sell your lunch kits. Neutralizing virus is fine. Virus virus ineffective. So this is a neutralizing antibody, which is introduced by IgG4. IgG4. Good. Well, after I get my eyebrows done, I'm gonna call my baby brother because he called me earlier. We talked for a few. So it's the first day of his last semester today, and then I will at least previews wednesday's material and gotta do some monkey cards today we started with a micro lab um, they're not mandatory but i went i'm glad i went because it really just like created some associations for me between certain tests that you can differentiate certain uh, genius of strep and certain genius of staff with and then after that we had pathology so intro to neoplasia so that lecture was two hours lectures for the day are over i'm about to go eat my tacos and watch maybe yeah game of thrones because netflix and hulu for whatever reason don't load up here uh, maybe do some anki and then go to a ta session ta sessions are like super helpful so shout out to all the ta it really helps you like pick out more high yield things especially for us who 
have no idea what the professors really want us to know. The went great. I knew a lot of information, but also lets me know things I need to go back over. It is two o'clock. I'm about to chug some coffee, take like a 20 minute power nap. When I wake up, I'll be like buzzed and ready to go. And then I'll just get on that micro and the pathology. <laughs> I got through my last two lectures. The last one was like, kill him, ready to get ahead home, have some dinner, watch some TV, relax. And then probably at like 10, I will go through my Anki cards until 11 and then head to bed. Good morning, Jams. It's Wednesday. Today is going to be a bit different. We have four lectures. First lecture is micro, second lecture is path, and the third and fourth lectures are both of you know. I went over the third and fourth lectures first. Why? Because they're high yield immunology. So I went over those first, got those down. Now, I went over the micro in the path yesterday. For path yesterday, it was just, it was too heavy for me. But it was probably because I was tired. So I'm going to go to that lecture. However, going to a lecture on the microbiology, um, family, genius, subspecies, all that, that's not going to help me memorize it. What is? It's sketchy micro. The rest of today's studies are going to be a bit different because I'm not making study aids anymore so I'm done making my Anki cards so now I'll just be going back over the past few weeks Anki cards as well because this is our last week for new material and next week is exam week. Pray for you girl. For our um, IHD exam we're gonna have obviously a three-hour written exam and then we have two um, standard patient encounters and then we also do a free growl exam so that is like a full body exam almost um check the ears you check the eyes you check the nose you check the heart the lungs you check the abdomen um cva tenderness and then you do like a general appearance check and i hope i didn't forget anything because your girl is doing it early tomorrow so yeah i had practice for that today and then at two o'clock i have a spursa which is you go over your standard patient encounters and they just tell you how to write your soap note more efficiently other kind of differential diagnoses you can come up with and things of that nature so right now me and metre we're gonna practice for the speed brow exam because we're doing it tomorrow <laughs> So I just took my febrile exam early and yeah, girl, pat I don't have to worry about that next week. Um, they said I had a nice system and a great bedside manner. Okay, Jim, so normally on Thursday, I would take my laptop with me, stay on campus after my med school, go over all my hockey cards, and then around 3.30ish, I would take a nap in our nap room and then take my formative. However, today I left my laptop at home thinking, I don't know what. So I've driven home. Thank God I got through all of my Anki cards. I'm gonna take like a 15 minute little nap because I really believe that naps help you to consolidate information. And then I will start my formative and let you guys know how it goes if my study plan is foolproof. So I barely passed with a C, but hey, guess what? Like my Annie always says, B's and C's get degrees. I never lived by that, but in medical school, C's and D's get degrees. And so a C for me is like an A. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna take the rest of the day for myself, gonna watch some TV, eat all the food I want, actually finish my vlog, and have a dinner date with Bay. Okay, so Friday is we start with colloquium, which is basically medical ethics, and we go to workcation. Uh, you sit down with a doctor and you go over different cases relating to the presentation that you're studying that week. So today we did wound care. We got out pretty early at 11.35ish in colloquium. Since we get breakfast, your girl is the social rep and she organizes that. So I usually leave my lunch on accident because I don't know, I don't go to my fridge for the breakfast so then I don't get the lunch. So I need to leave campus, go get some lunch really quick. There's a Dairy Queen like a block down. So that's where I'm gonna go. Give me them chicken fingers and fries and some honey mustard and then come right back here because on Fridays the TA sessions they start at 12. Um, it's usually 12 to 1. Today it's going to be 12 to 3 because they're going to go over our entire IHD block for review. So I got to make that. Damn, the parking lot's super full right now. I'm debating if I should leave because I might not be able to park when I get back. Thank you. Hi, say hi, because I couldn't put you the last time. Yeah. Passing. Yeah. 